Oh yeah, fuck. Oh, triple down! Oh! <laughs> what the hell? I have no idea what I was doing there, people. G'day gamers. What do you think of that clip? That was from last week playing Rift on Crucible. You know, got a bit of lucky triple kill there. Well, got to throw it in there. But anyway, as the title says, a bit of vlog, I'm calling it. Now, I've just come back from the EB Expo. And what can I say? Xbox, they obviously had, it was their turn this year. Last year it was Sony's. It seems to be that way that they alternated with EB Expo here in Australia where they have one year's Microsoft next year. It's Sony this year with Microsoft. And uh, what can I say? Line up to play Halo 5. Now, Xbox Live was down, which even affected at the Expo. But got back there, checked it out. They let us play Warzone, which is uh, 12 play versus everything and other players. PvP as well as PvE, you can say all in one. With the special Elite controller uh, for the Xbox One. And I'm calling it. I'm, look, guys, I'm so excited. And I've even seen some little bit more of the campaign of this game. If they get the connection right, it's going to be the game of the year. They've won it. And... Hey, you know, I say I'm not a fanboy here and there, but I can tell you, from what I've seen, if they get it A grade, they've won it. So I was so excited, I bought, spent way too much. So as you can see, here's the Witcher 3 Special Edition. I might do that unboxing, but what I thought I would show you is, you know I love my headsets. I love them, and I need a pair of Astro 40s for the PlayStation 4. And I need no uh, A50s actually, a pair of Astro A50s for the uh, PlayStation 4. I already have a pair of A50s, but I thought I'd buy a special pair <clears throat> for the Xbox One. The A50 Halo Wireless Headset Edition. This one's going for the Xbox One. Yep. Um, now, before you say why, why are you spending money on headsets, is if you game as much as I do, you're mad if you don't. You're absolutely mad. Astros, look, I played The Division today. Uh, another great game. That's a definite must buy. But I played it wearing Turtle Beaches. Not bad. Not bad. They're all right. They're pretty good. Uh, but then when I went and played Halo 5, excuse the motorbike, Halo 5 on the Astros, I'm sorry. Just doesn't compare. Just doesn't compare. So look, here's just a quick unboxing just to show you what these look like. So I've already taken a bit of... Wow. Look at that. By far the most comfortable headset you'll get. And these ones are wireless, if for your little chat cable thingy. Way a bit, but nowhere near as much as other wireless headsets have worn. But still the most comfortable. Your volume control. Um, very, as you can see, the gold down there. Uh, Halo on the top there, very top. 117 on the side here. That's for your chat and party control. There's your boom, so if you don't want to chat anymore. Boom goes up. Want to chat and say, hey, buddy, stop teabagging me. Boom. Boom. You know? And that's... That is just... You know, you just... Wow. Wow. Oh, actually, they're really comfortable. Oh, I could talk to you like this for the rest of the... And I will. And, um... Wow, these are so sexy. I might even wear them on my next date. Probably not. Uh, so here's the mix amp. Which says Halo 117 on it. I've got to hook this up to the computer and charge it all up, and I'm going to move my existing pair onto the PlayStation 4. Take that off, and that's like a, it's wow, it's rough here, but smooth on the edges. So if you can see that, that's the and you know little that's the mix amp, and these are all the little bits here and there. So yeah, like oh, there's a stand, and there is aha, uh -huh, this is the bit I'm looking forward to. None of that crappy other chat adapter. This one just goes in there, and that says Halo as well. So I can't wait to crack these this afternoon because I'm jumping online because uh, my clan are more Halo players than I am. And poor filthy finger says, "Why bot? Tell me what Halo Five is like." And I said, "Give me five when I finish with the lineup." And he's a little bit disappointed, but hey, that's another thing. He'll get over it. The division is definitely a game to look into, gamers. Doesn't matter what console. I heard mixed reviews and nothing too fantastic about Star Wars Battlefront. Probably too much hype. Do you? Want do you want to do an unboxing of this? I have to take these off. Now, I'm not a big fan of The Witcher, but a lot of people went nuts over... What the fuck? The graffiti the box. A lot of people went over the top about this special bundle. And when I saw it for reduced from 220 down to pretty much 147, I thought, why not? I'll get it anyway. 
And right, so <clears throat> that in itself is a bit freaky because that's this game opened up. So as you can see there, there you got that. This is a very newbish unboxing by the way, because I need to have a nap after the day. I lined up for about three hours for, for Halo 5, it seemed like. It wasn't that long because I had Express Pass, but uh, trust me, it was well worth it. Okay, and there, okay, so this is just the art book. Look at that. That's actually pretty darn good. But, not bad, actually, that's pretty darn good. Wow. Got my grandmother, God bless her soul. That's, that's sick. That's actually, like, real, that's, like, that's, that is a, a surprise. The game, the steel case, steel case isn't bad, and of course, we've got the medallion, which I'll wear on goth nights. <laughs> uh, deck of cards for, for, I don't know, what would... Uh, they gambled back in those days, so I'm going to gamble two packs of those. So that's that. Now, I suppose you guys really want to see the statue, so bear with me as I do this really newbish unboxing. Yes, I did spend a fortune out there today, because I was thinking of buying a new laptop, ladies and gentlemen. But I don't need to because, you know, it's a bit expensive, and I'm in a little bit, you know, do I buy a new laptop or not? Yada, 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 yeah, gaming. And I'm just going to chill with the laptop I've got, and, you know, for recording on YouTube. Because I wouldn't mind going away on a good holiday next year and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, just put it aside. And that's all that. It's impressive. I suppose you really want to see the statue. Okay, bear with you. I've got my nephews down. It's just crazy at the moment, people. That's why my uploading has been a little bit you know, sporadic, as one would say. I'm going to get foam all over my bed. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> uh, there we go. Let's just get in here. There we go. Okay. Now for the grand... As I get rid of that rubbish. The grand unveiling. And it's all in plastic. So that's the tail of him. I might keep him in this plastic thing until I make room in my bedroom. Just give you an idea of what he's like. And that's actually pretty damn impressive. I, as an animal lover, I, you know, nobody asked whether this thing had any rights or whatever. It was good for him to kill him. But he is now attacking it with what looks to be like a sworded sword. So I'm sure I've got the bit here. And I've got the tail there, but from the other end of the sword. Which I probably will, which is probably in here somewhere. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, because but where, where is your blade, man? Like you, you know, well, oh, he's got a beard. Rock on, and he looks like he's killing like I don't know what he's killing, like a, like a chicken on roids. So that, look, that goes back in there, like, here, like so. That goes back up here. Um, so people, that's what I the two big things I bought today. Division is definitely one to look out. I do. I believe it's a must-buy. Need for Speed had a little bit of look at that. And the other game to look out for, for PC players, I recommend it. But also, for console players, is Battleborn. That looks like a hell of a lot of fun. Just multiplayer carnage. You know, we're missing those kind of games like the Unreal Tournament and Quake and stuff like that. We're missing those type of games. We need them back. So, there's a the thing. It's a sort of exciting time. The one thing I did notice, though, at the um, Microsoft keynote, they said that the servers were in Australia and in Sydney and stuff like that. I question that because if I don't get the connection right, it's going to be a big pile of shit. The campaign's going to be great, but it's going to be a big pile of shit. And the Xbox Live was down today, so that's not a good sign. But fingers crossed they will get it right together because if they do. That means Sony will have to step up a bit more and competition and we as gamers win. That is what I'm all about, competition and keeping it nice. And you know, I can definitely say that there are fanboys of both consoles, but no violence, nothing's bad, nobody offended, and that's the way it should be, gamers. So, Frag and Tabby, good to those on you, and tell me if you went to the expo, and tell me what you think. Yeah, now I've got all this rubbish to clean up. Damn.